The Muscatine City Council will come to order. Fran, would you do a uh, roll call, please? Councilmember Raywall. Here. Fitzgerald. Present. Nat Fig. Present. Jihadi. Bynum. Phillips. Present. Fred. Four present and six present. <laughs> Four present and three absent, Your Honor. <laughs> Very good, friend. <laughs> Folks, would you rise and join me in our Pledge of Allegiance? Well, at least we're all not all gone. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you and welcome. Did you? Did you? Let's tell this. Item number four on tonight's agenda, communications from citizens. Is there anyone in council chambers that wishes to address council about an item or topic that isn't on tonight's agenda? Very good, we'll move on down the line. Item number five, the following items are considered to be routine by the city council and will be enacted by one motion. There will be no separate discussion of these items unless a council member so requests in which event the item will be removed from the consent agenda and considered in its normal sequence on the agenda. Is there a motion to approve the consent agenda, which includes item 6A through B, items 8A through I, item 9A, filing of communications 12A through D, and tonight's bills totaling $2,764,972.60. So moved. Annette? Second, Your Honor. Second, Phil. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay? Motion carries 4 0. Down to item 7 public hearing. <laughs> this public hearing concerns a proposed fixed base operator lease at the uh, municipal airport. Over the past 25 plus years, the city has engaged the services of a professional fixed base operator, or FBO, to conduct airport operations under lease. Prior to any formal action by city council, a public hearing is required. Is there anyone in council chambers tonight that wishes to speak to this issue? Move to close, close the public hearing. Uh, I, I heard Scott here, obviously, in a second. I'll second. Phil, uh, all those in favor <clears throat> say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries 4 0. Item 10A. Presented for City Council's consideration is a resolution approving the final plat for the North Port Avenue Investors Edition. The proposal subdivides lots five and six of the North Port Commons Edition, transferring approximately 23,570 square feet uh, from lot six to lot five. The intent is to construct a medical office building on the expanded parcel. The Planning and Zoning Commission unanimously recommends the approval of this request. Is there a motion to adopt the resolution as submitted? So moved. That would be Jeanette. And a second? Second, Your Honor. Second, Phil. Any discussion, Council? Okay, this is a roll call beginning with Jeanette. Aye. Scott? Aye. Phil? Aye. And Mike? Aye. Motion carries 4 0. Item 11, 11A, presented uh, for City Council's consideration is a resolution approving the lease of certain premises located at the municipal airport to Carver Arrow for fixed base operations. Is there a motion to adopt the resolution as submitted? So, so moved. moved. Ooh. <laughs> Let's see. We'll give this to Phil and a second to Scott. Any discussion? This is a roll call <coughs> beginning with Phil. Aye. Mike. Aye. Jeanette. Aye. And Scott. Aye. Motion carries 5-0. Item B, presented for City Council's consideration as a resolution accepting completed work for the Logan Street Culvert Extension Project and authorizing final payment. The work for this project was performed by Haggerty Excavating. There is one yeah, there is one change, change order totaling $39,323 and one bid quantity adjustment of $160 resulting in a final contract amount of $92,940. The city engineer and project inspector recommend city council accept the completed work and authorize final payment to the contractor. Is there a motion to adopt the resolution as submitted? 
So moved, Your Honor. Bill, in second. a second. Second, Jeanette. Any discussion, Council? This is a roll call beginning with Phil. Aye. Mike. Aye. Jeanette. Aye. And Scott. Aye. Motion carries 4 0. Item C. Presented for City Council's consideration is a resolution authorizing the assessment of unpaid abatement costs to private properties. Periodically, city staff provides to City Council a request for the assessment of nuisance abatement costs against private property owners. At this time, staff is forwarding the assessment list for unpaid abatement costs totaling $46,799.49. Is there a motion to adopt the resolution as I'll submitted? Move, Your Honor. That would be mine. Mr. Mayor. <laughs> A second. 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 Scott, uh, any discussion? Also a roll call, beginning with Mike. Aye. Jeanette. Aye. Scott. Aye. And Phil. Aye. Motion carries. 4-0. Item D. Presented for City Council's consideration as a request to approve the City's <laughs> insurance renewal effective July 1st, 2014. Is there a motion to approve the request as submitted? So moved. Scott. Second. Second, Phil. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries 4 0. Item E. Presented for City Council's consideration is a request to approve change order number four for the laboratory annex project at the water pollution control plant. The original ventilation system has been altered to upblast centrifugal exhaust ventilators at a cost of $2,625, I'm sorry, $635. Is there a motion to approve the request as submitted? So moved. Ooh, we'll give that to Jeanette in a second. Second. Second, Phil, any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay? Motion carries, four, zero. Item F. Presented for City Council's consideration is a request to approve change order number three for the Colorado Street Reconstruction Project. A storm sewer system from Cobblestone Drive West to an existing ditch was not considered in the original design and requires revisions for the project to be completed. The revision includes the installation of a subdrain uh, with a filter sock, uh, subdrain with a filter sock with a total increase to the contract of $16,000 $976.25. Is there a motion to approve the request as submitted? So moved. That's Phil and a second. 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 Scott, any discussion? I just I've had a question. Go ahead. Uh, we both do. I just had a question. Why, why did we um, miss this? I mean, it, it's, I, I, I thought they did a nice job planning this, reviewing the site, walking the site, surveying the site. And then we have a $17,000 change order. Uh, there's, there's two parts to the change order. The first part is a, uh, for storm sewer, and the second part is for subdrain. And the subdrain applies to the whole job uh, because we have uh, silty and soils on the project. If you don't put a filter sock on your subdrain over the years, it will plug up and quit functioning. So this to is, add longer life to the pavement, it okay. should have a that, filter sock. That part of that 17,000 is for this big long sock. Uh, yes, there's 13,000 <laughs> in the uh, uh, storm sewer changes. So roughly. why didn't, did, did we not know the soil conditions at the, when the planning was mm -hmm. going on? The consensus was with the inspection team and the engineers discussion after the fact, after it was bid to to switch it, it made sense to do that. It's adding. Yeah, no, it, the, it just wasn't the reviewed thoroughly before and and yeah. prepared. Okay, that's good. Yeah. And my question, John, what's the expected life of the filter socks? I mean, just roughly, what do you? Well, when we design a pavement, you know, some of the pavements are they last for 50 years when we do them for concrete and you know 40 to 50 years that's what we saw on clay street and such um so it, you don't want to you want to add as much life as you can to your subdrain system to expect 50 years out of something without a filter on it i'm thinking that's not going to happen but the filter itself how long i mean it 
last a long time, you're saying? Huh? Yeah. I mean, take a guess. Do they still put rock around it? Even, <laughs> yeah, it has pea gravel. They... It's a it's a two foot deep trench with pea gravel in it and a polyethylene tube with yeah. perforations in it, and the dirt can travel through the pea gravel and then right. and then it, it can fill up uh, the voids around that pipe and and pipe material into the pipe and plug it up as well. So you put the filter sock in to keep everything clean and open. Anyone else, Council? Thank you, John. Yep. Okay, this is a voice vote, so all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay? Motion carries for zero. Item G, presented for City Council's consideration is a request to authorize the issuance of a purchase order for street signs. The City's roadway maintenance operation maintains a 5,000 plus signs installed in the City of Muscatine. Because of mandated re reflectivity requirements, it is important for the city to be proactive with upgrading its sign inventory. Two quotes were received with a low quote from TAPCO in the amount of $12,948.03. There is $15,400 available in the traffic control budget for this expenditure. Is there a motion to approve the request as submitted? So moved. Scott. Second. 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 Phil, any discussion? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> no, you go for a system. I just had a couple of quick questions for maybe Randy. Just uh, I'll wait till you get something. Now this is for street signs, not the not the regulatory. No, it's basically just for just for, for street signs in general and replenishing our inventory. We usually go out and buy signs this time of the year. Not usually in this quantity, but since it's over 5,000, we may need to bring it to the city council. Okay, and I seem to recall there was two deadlines, one for the, for the traffic control signs and one for the street signs. Yep, very good, Scott. Uh, there, there was. The federal government has backed off on that mandate as far as their timetable is concerned. And we have met uh, the requirements for it uh, with next year's $15,000 we have in the budget for next year. We'll take care of our commitment to that. After that, it's a matter of taking the signs that we're ordering now and all future signs, and we'll start buying reflectivity types of signs. You know, Mulberry Street will be reflective. Uh, but the, um, the regulatory ones, uh, those have been taken care of good is this a is this a uh, better than normal price my, my my the only reason why I ask is is can if, if you're at 13,000 can you go ahead and buy another twenty four hundred dollars worth of signs at a lo at that lower rate and spend the <coughs> spend the budget but you get more signs at a lower rate You've been talking to our roadway maintenance staff. They said the exact same Honestly, thing. Honestly, I said. <laughs> they said the exact same thing, and I said no. Uh, that we have. No, they couldn't do it, or no, they. <laughs> I said no. We went out for this many signs. Uh, we're already pushing that budget anyway. Uh, we can use that extra two thousand bucks to cover other overruns we have in the uh, roadway maintenance budget, and uh, so. If they wanted $15,000 worth of signs, then they should have figured out about how much they're going to get. This is a good price. Normally, we don't buy them in this kind of a quantity. We buy them piecemeal over the year. I don't recall in the past that I've come before the city council for a sign purchase like this. But uh, because this year they held off until now uh, to get their signs, you know, by the purchasing requirements. We have to bring before the city council, which means they have to go out and get uh, comparable quotes, which they did. And surprisingly, because prison industry is usually a pretty good uh, source for us as far as uh, uh, cost, uh, that TAPCO came in cheaper. So, but I'll tell Randy that. I just want to, you, you know, backed him up all the way on that, Phil. A, and, and I honestly did not talk to Randy. It just sounds like a reasonable thing to do. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> you don't have Nancy breathing. I do. Well, that was the other thing I knew. <laughs> Thank you. And you knew you you know for a fact you overspent someplace else, and you're trying to cover your budget, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Okay, there is a, a, a motion and a second on the floor. Uh, all those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, nay. Motion carries 4 0. Item H presented for a city council's consideration is a request to accept the low bid for the spring striping program. I'm sorry, street <coughs> striping program. Two bids were received with a low bid from Weikert Contracting in the amount of $52,000. $40.76. The increased cost is due to the addition of US 61 from Mississippi Drive to Dick Drake Way. There is $50,000 budgeted for this project. Is there a motion to approve the request as submitted? So moved. Scott. Second. And a second. Jeanette, uh, any discussion? Randy has $400 left of that $2,400 he just <laughs> saved on the previous item. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Any additional discussion? <laughs> no. <laughs> Worthwhile discussion. <laughs> All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries 4 0. Item I. Presented for City Council's consideration is a request to approve the issuance of a purchase order for archaeological survey services for the Musser Park to Wiggins Road Trail. The Lewis Burger Group performed performed the phase one archeological <clears throat> investigation for this project in 2011. They have submitted a proposal to perform an investigation and supplemental report on the two and a half mile not yet examined. Professional fees for these services are not to exceed $5,600. Staff is recommending the issuance of a purchase order to Lewis Berger for these services. Is there a motion to approve the request as submitted? So moved, Your Honor. Phil? Second. Se second, Jeanette, uh, any discussion? Louis Berger, are they subbing this out? I mean, I don't see how they can send somebody out here and do it, 5,600 bucks, unless they're phoning it in. Where's their nearest office, Chicago? Uh, they have offices all over. They're a national firm. I think what they do is they rely on a pool of people that are local and knowledgeable that work as subs and then work for their company. Uh, that's, that's the way I understand yeah. it. Uh, you know, college professors and in an expert group that do these sorts of things. Send the grad students out, huh? Well, uh, <laughs> it's a branch of what they do. So, you know, they, they maintain a pool of professionals that can cover wide areas in, in certain and, and that's, what, that's what they've done uh, on the previous reports, and they do well for us. That's what I thought. Thank you. <laughs> do they? Anyone else, Council? Thank you, John. Uh, again, uh, we have a motion and a second. Uh, this is a voice vote. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries for zero. Dropping down to item 14, uh, communications from council members, beginning with Councilman Raywall. Oh, uh, nothing, to, uh, Mr. Mayor. Okay, uh, Phil? Nothing at this time, Your Honor. And Scott? I have nothing here, thank you. Jeanette? Nothing, Your Honor, except it's very lonely over here. <laughs> <laughs> Greg, one quick question. Um, we met today to discuss the city code, uh, and we're gonna plan on bringing that back to City Council starting in July. Uh, what our plan would be is to bring that back at the in-depth sessions and, and review uh, four to five sections at a time. Uh, we'd like to meet in August. We don't typically meet in August. We'd like to try and get it wrapped up before we get uh, deep into the budget process. Would there be an objection to holding an in-depth session in August? We haven't had one for years. Mm -mm. I think so. It's fine. I'll, okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> Anything else? Great. Nothing. Okay. Fran? Thank you for having me. And I, I have nothing tonight. Uh, any other business, Council? Is there a motion to adjourn? Move to adjourn. Motion is accepted. Meeting is adjourned. Maybe we couldn't adjourn.